Hello, my name is Joanna and I'm a children's dietitian working for First Community Health and Care. This is video four in a series of five videos on milk allergy and we shall be looking at when to reintroduce cow's milk into your child's diet. The first video is an introduction to cow's milk allergy, the second on breastfeeding and milk allergy, the third on formula feeding in milk allergy, this is the fourth and the final video looks at meeting nutritional requirements on a milk-free diet. We will be looking at when you should reintroduce cow's milk, when you shouldn't, why we challenge your child with cow's milk and how we do that process. There are two occasions that you would consider a cow's milk challenge. The first is to confirm diagnosis and this is covered in videos two and three. The second is to check if they have grown out of their milk allergy. We would start this process at between 9 to 12 months or when they have been on a milk-free diet for 6 months. Most children grow out of their milk allergy by the time they are 2 to 3 years old. The only other time you may consider a milk challenge is if your child has had an accidental exposure to dairy and not reacted. Please discuss this with your health professional or dietitian. So when wouldn't we challenge with cow's milk? If your child has had an IgE or immediate reaction when consuming cow's milk, if there is a history of severe or anaphylactic reaction, if your health professional has requested that you don't challenge your child, or if your child is poorly, in that case wait until they are well and then start the challenge process. So if your child has been better since excluding cow's milk, why would you want to challenge them? Firstly, we need to assess whether they have acquired a tolerance to cow's milk. Most children, as we've said, grow out of milk allergies and we need to assess whether that process has started or happened for your child. Secondly, we want to ensure that the diet is not overly restricted. If your child can now tolerate cow's milk, we want to reintroduce that back in and prevent them having any restrictions they don't need. We challenge using the IMAP challenge ladder. This is a six step process, starting with foods containing very small amounts of well-baked dairy, making them less allergenic, building all the way up to the final step of cow's milk. The first three steps have recipes attached, or you can use shop-bought alternatives if that's easier. So how do we do the challenge process? Only start the challenge if your child is well. Start on step one unless you've been advised by your health professional to start on a different step. Give the amount of food suggested and if the food is tolerated, continue giving your baby that food regularly as well as any food from previous steps that they have tolerated and move on to the next stage. If your child doesn't tolerate the food, Remove that food and go back to the previous step that they were well and remain there and try again in a few weeks or months as guided by your health professional. This does not mean that your child won't grow out of dairy, they're just not yet there yet and need a little longer. Start the challenge process at the beginning of the day so you have the whole day to observe your child for any possible reactions. If your child is taking any medications, discuss this with your health professional before starting the milk ladder. The time spent on each step of the ladder will vary from child to child. Some useful tips for the challenge process. Introduce milk-free versions of the foods on the milk ladder to your baby when weaning and it will make it more likely for them to accept those foods when you get to that point of the process. Keep a diary of what food you've challenged with, portion size and any possible reactions. This makes it easier to keep track of the process and identify any challenge reactions. If your child can only tolerate very small amounts of dairy, do continue to give these as any exposure can help develop tolerance. It's not a good idea to start the challenge process if your child is unwell. Wait for them to get better and then make that decision. It's also not a good idea if your child is about to have a big life change, for example, starting nursery. Wait until they're settled and the risk of any possible accidental exposure has passed. 
And do remember, if your child has an IgE or immediate reaction to cow's milk, you should not do a home challenge and should discuss this with your health professional. It is a ladder process and it's possible to go up and down the ladder as required. And it might feel like reaching for the stars when you first start out, but many children do develop a tolerance to dairy and this is a really important process to go through for them. These are the resources discussed in this presentation and the links are available on our webpage. Thank you for listening.